This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. We're here in Meadville with, uh, of course, uh, fans of the show, longtime fans of the show. What well, episode three? Jock Samson was, was is with us. With tell us, who's your new partner here? The, his name is Andy Griffith. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm from Mont Pilot. He's from Mont Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh, good friend Magnum CK. Magnum CK. Three six foot five, three hundred and three pounds. We, we're lying a lot about that because what we do in wrestling, we lie. I, well, legitimately, I am 6'4", and today, 297. So yeah, I'm a plate yeah. of meatballs away from 300. Yeah, it's me and Kevin <laughs> Sullivan play center for the Lakers. That's how tall we are. <laughs> I, I was going to say, it's, it's, it's not a, sadly, it's not often on the Indies. I, I, I run into, like, oh, shit, somebody's taller than me here. Yeah, taller you know, you, I mean, I'm 6'4", cool. and this is like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is. That's why I got a personality, I guess, right? That's right. <laughs> I want to tell you something. What are we talking about? We're talking about IWC? IWC, Meadville, you guys uh, opened up and got the crowd going. Yeah, well, we tried, but I want to say more importantly, never mind, can we cuss on this thing or no? Yes. All right, never mind that shit, because what I just did is I ate a plate full of meatballs with my hands and stood next to Ricky Steamboat. <laughs> life goals, And then we cheered goals. Bud Lights and I moved on. I've been drinking my dinner all night. There you go. Drinking you go. it. So you guys, Mega Plowers, uh, how long have you guys been together as a tag team? About over a year. Uh, no, a year tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is tomorrow's not only my birthday, but also the day I came back to wrestling, and the day that we formed the Mega Plowers. Wow. This, this basically means that uh, he's the he's the wife of the tag team. So team member today. <laughs> <laughs> is that and now I, again? I'm not. You know, haven't been in the business. You know, is that how you do the tag? You have to establish the wife in the relationship. No, or, but know? when it comes down to remembering the day we started, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I would. I I'm would. Pretty good about the dates, but. Not the day we got together. I would category, categorize myself as a power bottom, I think, is how. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Um, so, jeez. Uh, so, Jock, since we've had you on, uh, you have been known as Air Jock a good bit. Oh, Jesus, God in heaven. <laughs> yeah, the day where I about died. Yes. Reba McIntyre wrote a song today, Jock Flew. <laughs> That's a night when Jock flew out the third row. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world is possessing you to do that at this point in your career? Cocaine. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. That's a shoot. <laughs> no, no, what it is is uh, anytime you're in a match and you have six other guys, it's like, well, they could catch me. <laughs> until, and he can dive. He's more athletic than he even knows. Look until until he d- decides he dives into the first row. <laughs> Well, I didn't really mean it. I was, you know, it was one of those days where I was like, "Shit, I just landed in third row." So, so, so is Damn, it? I'm impressed. <laughs> was it? It was it too much? Like it was it too much force, or did you kind of like pawn skip like a stone <laughs> into the first row off well, of the people? Because you, you you got them, but you still ended up in the first row. All that I can tell you is this: is when when he held the rope up, yeah, I had to jump up, yeah. And when I jumped up and I went out, and then I went to land. Oh, you know, thinking, I, I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to die. There's Ricky, Ricky Steamboat. Yeah, Ricky Steamboat's back here. It's a really good thing. I ate meatballs of Ricky Steamboat. <laughs> so, and I went to dive, and just at the end of it, I'm thinking that I'm going to land over, fly over top of him. Yeah. And I closed my eyes and reached my hand out, hoping that I grabbed the guardrail. Mm-hmm. So, and when I landed, I actually think, well, I, hell, I landed on him. So I hop up thinking, holy shit. I landed on him, and then I realized I'm already up, and I completely no-sold me landing in the third freaking row. So I get up, and I was like, yeah! We're next, right now? Yes, sir. Not this nope. second. There's stuff happening. There's stuff happening. Donkey Shane, baby, Donkey Shane. Come on, guys, sing with me. Thank you for all those diamond rings. That's like the part in the movie where it says, please stand by. Yeah, so we got, the, we got the situation under control. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Go. Steamboat's match was starting, and he didn't. He better watch out or I'll is this, stretch is, him. Is Justin Plummer going to see this? Uh, yeah, he doesn't watch this stuff. Uh, uh, Justin Plummer, I love IWC. That's all I want to say. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, so thankfully I didn't die. Okay. Yeah. 
good, and then good, die. Good, 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 good. You know, yeah, good stuff. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, Magnum, Ma 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 Magnum, <laughs> Magnum, uh, we've asked Jock these questions, but we yeah. have some standard questions here. I'll, I'll run through them real quick here on the Indie Mayhem Show since we do have you. First of all, like, uh, what's your kind of first memory of uh, uh, pro wrestling? How'd you get into it? I grew up in it. Yeah. Uh, my uncle is a, was a wrestler and is a promoter. He's actually promoting his last show later this year. And uh, one of my first memories was being at a show in, of all places, St. Mary's, West Virginia, which I know everybody knows. It's a really nice town. I've been there. I've been there. But it was, uh, I, I was three or four, and it was Wahoo McDaniel in the main event against Ivan Koloff. And uh, Lord Zoltan was there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but my uncle... Uh, so I grew up around wrestling forever. It's just always all, all I've ever known, you know. So uh, it's really all my childhood memories come from wrestling, whether it was at a show live, working backstage, and and and, and that was back when they had uh, good guy and bad guy locker rooms. So I didn't get they didn't want I didn't get smartened up till I was about nine years old. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Different locker rooms? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll tell you what, there used to be some fans out there that thought that wrestling was real. <laughs> it's not? But yeah, so I grew up around it, man. I got to hold uh, uh, Ivan Koloff's big, bloodied, probably hepatitis-laden chain when I was like four years old. <laughs> not that chain. Oh, the memories. Yeah, yeah. So when it's something. I hear chain, I think, you know, yeah. chain. When I hear Russian chain match, I really think about the chain. I think about that time. Do you know about the time that uh, Nikita Koloff's wiener fell out? No. He got suplexed by Flair. You know, he had those short, the short singlets. Yeah, yeah. He got suplexed by Flair. He's upside down, and his wiener fell out because uh. Flair grabbed his tights. And he got, and he got slammed. Tommy Young, circling around, you know, sold the move, circles around, looks over, sees uh, Nikita's penis, walks over casually, goes. <laughs> <laughs> Match went on. <laughs> Pro wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, what do you watch? What do you guys? Uh, both of you. What are you guys watching these days? What's got your attention in wrestling? I'll tell you, my so uh, I just got married uh, last year, and uh, second time, <laughs> last time. Uh, but she hasn't; she is not familiar with wrestling until we, you know, got together. So I'm showing my wife is asked to see some of the stuff I grew up watching. So like SummerSlam '89, uh, some old like '80s uh, Starcade stuff like that, you know, and uh, uh, War Games junk like that. So I'm excited. It's like you ever have a friend who never saw The Godfather, and you're like, oh my. You never saw The Godfather? You gotta, you gotta see The Godfather. So you sit down and you're just watching them watch The Godfather for the first time, and you're like, "This is the best." So it's kind of like that. What a dickhead. Yeah, I wouldn't be friends with anyone who hasn't seen The Godfather. To be honest, uh, when it comes to wrestling today, I don't really watch a lot of wrestling today because mm -hmm. I like sports way too fucking much. Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about what Ohio State is going to do. <laughs> Priorities. You like Ohio State? <laughs> And that's the breakup of the uh, <laughs> Mega Plowers, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them. We got, trust me. Hey, hey, well, Ohio I, I've found myself in the last year rooting for Ohio State because obviously we're wrestlers, so we're on the road on Saturdays, almost every Saturday. We find a bar in a town, leave or, early. Well, or we listen to it on Sirius uh, Radio or whatever, and I'm rooting for the Ohio State because I don't care, but I want them to win because I don't want to have to ride with this guy back home <laughs> who's all mad, like just, just, just staring at the road. You know? <laughs> so, I like, seriously do not, like, I, I'm the kind of guy, I don't really call matches like everyone's doing their matches i'm the guy over there drinking just this fucking off mm -hmm. we you know were, because we were in west virginia we were in west virginia getting ready to go out like we're on deck like we're getting ready to go out he's got his phone there he's hooked up not even to wi-fi and he's just <laughs> streaming the game and we're like talking and we're like hey then we'll do this like jock jock like jock like are, you're gonna be there right like, we're gonna do this spot right he's like yeah oh, yeah 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 i got it i got it i got it <laughs> Stressing me the fuck out, man. The goddamn fourth quarter. Here's the thing. Ohio, the Buckeyes will win by 40 points, and he'll be pissed. The Buckeyes should have been 50. Yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, man, you know, nothing like ripping a guy's throat. We're the Patrick Swayze of college football. You know, we're ripping throats. You know, but uh, the wrestling, if I watch any kind of wrestling today, like I watch the older wrestling. Yeah. Because that's the kind of wrestling I enjoy. And I'm not saying the guys today ain't really good. They're, everyone's great. All these guys are phenomenal athletes, and all the girls are fantastic. And um, I just do it so goddamn much that, you know, and, and I don't not have passion because I'll be doing thinking, 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 thinking. I'll call him up and say, man, what do you think about this? Because the only thing I ever want to do, like, for some reason, they cheer me here. I, I just think of, I want to be do the most evil fucking things. 
you know, I want to be the most evil motherfucker. <laughs> so I'll just sit there, you know. But uh, I, like, uh, I like the simplicity of wrestling, of what it was. Like this morning before I left, I had, so my buddy called me and said, oh, you're not going to believe they put uh, a whole fucking year of Mid-South on, on the network. So I turned it on. And it's right beside the first, like, year of NXT. It's really weird. So, and, the, and the, you know, we're on a show with uh, Tessa, uh, not Tessa, um, Paul Ellering's daughter, and I'm sitting there watching him do a program with the Iron Sheik over the, over the clubs. And the booking is so simple. Oh, yeah, he did more. You know, he's out showing me. I'm going to be a heel and beat the crap out of him after he's tired. You know, I hate you, you hate me. Simple, simple stuff. And it was over. I find myself so you know you know KSW in Pittsburgh RWA I think a little bit you've been there before like they, like these crowds like that like it's still that way in some places you you you're all over the place are you still finding towns like that where, where are they more fun when they're that way? Well, to be honest, I don't care what town I'm in. Yeah, I'm me. Yeah, I'm. They're going to get Jack Sanson. You know, they're going to get like I don't think I do moves. I'm probably I probably do less moves than anybody in the history of wrestling. I do the moves. I think. He does I do. the moves. So move guy, Buddy Roberts. Yeah. Okay. I'm the, I'm, I, I, we, we had first when we started started doing it, we trouble. We were having a real rough. We're like, it just wasn't going right away. And, right, and I'm right. sitting there sitting with my wife who can't. I was telling my wife. My wife is deaf, so she probably didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, I know what the problem is. I got fucking Bam Bam six foot four over here. You got the little fucking fat little slob. Someone's got to be the bump guy, and it sure as fuck ain't going to be him. And, mm-hmm. and my wife knows how much I hate bumping. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I've never met a bump I liked. And I was like, well, I have to fucking sacrifice for this fucking team. Got to fucking land on my fucking back. And, you know, so that's when I mean, it started working out pretty good. Then it really, it really clicked because we just simplify things. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I know today guys want to do everything, but wrestling's not about doing everything. Mm-hmm. Wrestling's about one thing. Get it over. Mm-hmm. I don't care how you do it. If you, if you don't need to die, you don't need to die to get over, then don't. Mm-hmm. It's the best. That's Just great. do fucking le- less is fucking more. I know there's some guy sitting up there for, in, in Cleveland or something going, I don't watch anything today because they, do, they don't do enough fucking moves. Fuck off. Go fuck yourself. That's how I feel about it. Get the fuck over. Don't fucking die. Get your money. Go to bar. Cheat on your fucking wife. <laughs> Some modest words by Jock Sampson. Thank you, guys. Where can people find you online? I don't remember. What, what is it? Uh, you're Jock <clears throat> on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm the, the Magnum CK or something on Instagram and Twitter. But I'll give you, I'll leave you with one. Oh, and at Mega Plowers, blah, blah, blah. It's not Mega Plowers, right? Is it Mega Plowers uh, or the? I think, oh. I think it's Mega Plowers on something on Grand Instagram. Mesa? But I'll leave you with one piece of Mega Flowers trivia. We have never taken a second take on a promo, ever. Not one time. I refuse to do it. <laughs> Including this interview. <laughs> hey, man. For better or worse. <laughs> man, I got, I got beer to drink and bitches a hit. Hey, and I did vote for Donald Trump. There you go. There so you I'm going to get my heat right there. No, we're going to get you. Uh, we're talking about doing a political mayhem show. We'll get you, you on there. You want to talk politics? <laughs> that fucking guy's to list me talk politics. So. There you go. Uh, as, the, as the kids come down the aisle. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It's been fun coming uh, to the show, seeing you guys yeah, out yeah. there. Uh, so good seeing I'd you like guys. I'd like to kick Cha- Chachi in the nuts again. All right. Well, he's, he's working hard, Cam, so it's going to be really hard. so much fun to kick him in the nuts, so let's do it again. <laughs> we'll be sure to tag that in this so people tag that have so missed people that. people can see what I was talking about. That was so much fun. That's great. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to see who else we're talking to here at Meadville. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.